Welcome to another episode of Historical Churches, where in this video we will be visiting All Saints Church, Kedleston, Derbyshire. The earliest mention of the church dates from the end of the 12th century, and there is no mention of a place of worship at Kedleston in the Doomsday Book of 1086. The oldest part of the church that we see today is the south doorway which has inner jams of square section flanked by rounded shafts with beak head ornament. Above is a defaced time panum which depicts what appears to be the figure of a horseman and a wild beast. The church itself contains a nave, a north and south transept, vestry, chancel, a central tower and the Curzon chapel. As with many other churches, All Saints Church has seen a number of changes and improvements. These were made in the 15th and early 16th century. The biggest restoration came when the fourth Lord Scardale employed architect John Aldred Scott to make improvements between 1884 and 1885. Along the parapet is a Latin inscription which in English means because he loved a lot. Inside the church are 35 monuments to the Curzon family. This tomb bears the effigies of George Nathaniel Curzon and his first wife Mary, for whom the chapel was built. In the floor of the chancel are these two roundels which contain the head effigies of a knight wearing mail and a lady wearing a veil. It is not known for certain which of the Curzons they represent but date from the 13th century and is assumed to be Richard Curzon and his wife. In the north transept you'll find these two monuments, both to a Nathaniel Curzon, the first dying in 1718 and the other in 1758. In the south transept there is a tomb chest with the effigies of Sir John Curzon and his wife, dating from 1456. Sir John is dressed in armour and at his feet are the effigies of dogs. On the side of the tomb are the figures of their 17 children. There are also wall memorials to Sir John Curzon, 
who died in 1686, and his wife Patience, who died in 1642. Plus another memorial to the third baronet, John Curzon, who died unmarried in 1727. Throughout the church you'll find many wall monuments and floor tablets which all date from the 13th to the 20th century. The font dates from the 18th century and consists of a circular bowl on a polygonal shaft and has a wooden cover elegantly carved and painted to catch the eye. The headstones in the churchyard have all been laid flat with a few broken and too weathered to read. All Saints Church is stunning in its elegance and is a must visit when visiting the hall next door. Like, subscribe and share this video out there to help keep history alive. And I'll see you all next time. Until then, goodbye.